Now we're shooting. <laughs> he turns it on right away. That's awesome. Uh, what happens? We're back from our gig this weekend, uh, and everything is in boxes. I was thinking we could show you guys, uh, particularly the drum kit situation that we have, because we recently upgraded to a digital, or what's it called, e drums? What's the term? Yeah, I guess e drums. E, or is the word e kind of over? Drums. Oh, yeah, Candy, candy rain. Candy rain. Because oh, we have to carve up for next weekend when. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, here's uh, how we do that. We need to get rid of all the, oh, the markings. The tape is that from the gig or is this from the old drum kit? This is uh, from the old drum kit. So, we, yeah, the way yeah. everything used to be positioned. Yeah. My acoustic kit. Now we're redoing this for quick changeovers. Exactly. So the key, when you move the kit for gigs and stuff, we need to be able to spot right away where everything's supposed to be. Exactly. And you'll notice this will be true with the the rack. Pretty much. This is a uh, building a drum kit for beginners. How to, to. e drums. This is metal. <laughs> It's not heavy metal, it's just no, it's very easy. <laughs> it's easy metal, which is kind of what we do, I guess. Yeah. Hey, we do have a huge metal fan over here. <laughs> and then you unfold this baby. And then always when, when he's done, we applaud him. We don't have any markings on the, on the rug for this kit. Are we putting that no, up that's, or that's that doesn't the, really that's matter? That's uh, one of the businesses for today. Right. But all the other things are marked, as you can see, Yeah. Uh, with angles, unless they are completely, like this, these guys are just going straight up, so I, yeah. I kind of remember that. But you don't need to know. Otherwise, it should be easy for, for anybody to, to help out with, with markings on all these things, so now I know that this one should go a bit further in. There you go. And the same goes for pretty much everything. Yeah. Nourishment is Good important. Work. Cool. Now, are we there yet? Pass into the house. There we go. As you can see here, now it's easy. Crash one. Goes into crash one. The down, and then you see a little marking here, so I know the exact angle. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I can see it. Cool. And then we have the crash two. And yeah, that aligns the angle up here as well. Same procedure. So we're now mounting this to rehearse, I guess, two or three times, and then we go to Finland. Yeah. Play Q-Stock. And this one goes in here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, at some point we will show you what's in this fridge, but today is not that day. No, oh, okay. Ta-da! Still enjoying the, the, the chain better. I don't know why. It just has a more. Yeah, this. I, uh, I like. The, I, I get thing. a better feeling from this one. I don't yeah. know why. You don't have to know why. You just have to know you like it. Uh, yes. We're not scientists. Well. Well. <laughs> some of us are. I guess. <laughs> Doctor Carvin and. <laughs> Okay, and now we put this puppy here. Time for the big trunk, the big box. Nice. So it's the first try. Yeah. And when it comes to the toms, it's very important to keep this in tune. <laughs> yeah. You can hear that this one is perfectly in tune. The the underhead. Uh, I don't even know if you want to punch that with the don't stick. Hit that. No, please. We Please. Do. So another benefit of going going e drums is the whole uh, tuning shenanigans. Mm. I don't want to 
to play a show with with the completely new heads because they will yeah. sort of uh, I don't know what to say uh, retune themselves or yeah, adjust or what's Yeah, I mean they're, they're too soft. It? So like the first few songs, and then you will need to, to tighten all the heads again. Yeah. So to find that perfect sound when you have you have played them enough for them to settle, but you haven't played them enough to go uh, sort of wonky on you. Here, less of a problem. Yeah. Usually, uh, like each rehearsal, I would break maybe one or two sticks. Mm. Each show, when you have a little bit of adrenaline, maybe yeah. uh, even three, sometimes four even. So, the, yeah. the, the electronic drums, I haven't broken a single stick yet. And now you have those cool one. sticks now too. Yeah, exactly. That's why I also figured I can invest in something that looks a bit cooler. Yeah. Um, and you're yeah. connecting the... The, f the flag. The flag. This is our flag. Uh, this is the flagship model. And you know, the funny part is this kind of looks like a kick drum. Uh, that was not intentional, it's kind of happened. It's not there. Snare. 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 This is snare. <laughs> this. <laughs> the one drawback with this. the digital world. But it's really nice and it's tidy. The umbilical cord yeah. of the, yeah, of the exactly. drum kit. Exactly. But yeah. notice these were all separate cables until we fixed this. The, it's actually yeah. not that complex when you once you roll it out. Yeah. It just uh, looks very. You know, do you connect <clears throat> people and harvest them for energy with this thing? Oh, sorry. These two. Yeah. Are going to the hi hat. This one is going to the symbol, so they are here, and then we just follow all the connections all the way around, over here. Okay. Right symbol. Crash symbol. I like the medium thin rubber symbols best. <laughs> yeah. You can There's hear like you can hear it's so really versatile. nice. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really nice sounds. It's a bit loud for me though, you know. So just think about your yeah. hearing and especially Gordon. All of you haters out there that want to make fun of this drum kit, I'll make it easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I actually think that this is more better. Yeah, we already got some some comments. Uh, oh, which is a social media I mean, comments? Haters? No, not the social media, but like people. Here Onlookers? Like, yeah, it's not really a real drum kit. It's not a real drum kit. And I uh, said like, yeah, I remember what they used to say about the electric guitar when it came. It's, mm -hmm. totally, it's not a real it's ukulele. Not a real, yeah, it's not a real guitar, man. What the hell? I mean, for me, it's like. I still enjoy playing acoustic drums. Sure. It's just that, I mean, there's so many benefits of, of this. It's just that mm. this is more better. This is just more better. Yeah. And, and, and by more better, we'd say it has more pros than cons. Yes. Yeah. I'm not, Whew, I'm not gonna putting in the work. To, to play something just because people say that it's <laughs> so much cooler. Yeah. I mean, it's, for me, it's about the music. They the comments you got were from friends, not fans. Uh, I mean, yes, sort of. <laughs> and, uh, other people like uh, true rock and roll people, you know. What's that? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I think that our fans, they uh, they already dare to be different, so I don't. That is true. So, a flash. It's a magnet inside, so it detects how open your hi hat is by checking the position of his magnets. And that's how it knows which which variation exactly. of the sound to like play. Then it mixes together the, the splashy sounds from, from the samples. Um, yeah, make it based sound on, based on the natural. Yeah. We had some configuration issues, but I think we landed on a pretty good, you know, result. Yeah, there's some, I mean, we have done some tweaks and of course, we might still do more because we're not really. I mean, this is just the first few weeks with this kit. Yeah. yeah we have yeah, rehearsed definitely. with it for a couple of weeks and we have played one show with this kit. So, yeah. 
But it's all of that good. went with flying colors. Yeah, I mean, or? so far I'm, I'm really impressed. I thought it would be uh, much more of a hassle to switch. Um, yeah. So of course there will be some... I mean, also you have to, you have to realize, although I, I must say that it feels very natural to play, but it is still, it is a little bit like playing a new kind of instrument. So some things will of course not work the exact same way yeah. as, a, as a, an acoustic kit, which I think is fine. You, you just have to get used to playing. Yeah, like a piano is different from a keyboard, right? Exactly, exactly. They both have their uses. But I must say like that the switch has been like a breeze actually, I, I think. Yeah. Some, some tweakings and of course, I, I might not be the, the easiest drummer to tweak this kind of kit too, since I'm, I'm sort of a heavy hitter. But like from my perspective as just uh, hearing the difference when we rehearse, it's just, uh, I'm very happy with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the, the, the real, another of the, the, the positive things. Yeah, the that you the get it like it's perfect and you can hear every stroke. What's in the box, you say? What's in the box? Do you well, want to show it's us? It's the heart of the, the heart drums. of the drums. Hello, the, the famous. Uh, Wait, what's that? There's some schmutz there. Well, that's Nikki. Because Nikki, as he says, is a hard hitter. Sometimes gear <laughs> gets yeah. hit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's also something we learned. Yeah, that, uh, don't keep, place it too close to yeah, the keep symbol. The module, the sun. Uh, keep, keep the module away from people like me. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. This is your your neat little break for your. For your uh, left kick pedal when you're not uh, connected to a second bass drum. Like that. This is our snare. So put it right next to this guy. So put 50 feet underneath the leg. Snare in the middle. And this is uh, how we connect it to our gear, maybe, possibly. This is how we connect it to front of house. Uh, so this one goes here, around here somewhere. The second umbilical cord over here. And it goes also into the module. So we will send a kick drum, snare drum, hi-hat, ride, toms, and crashes out to the audience. And here, the front of house will connect all their yeah, XLR outputs. Yeah. Goes to the mixer board or mixing console. Exactly. I'm, like I'm standing in old uh, uh, symbols. Yes. Like For a lot of this. Playing drums. Each of those symbols is about. 200, 250 euros. Mm. It's a more expensive dollars. hobby than playing hockey, one might say. Yeah. Pretty happy with the way things are now. And you know, it still looks cool if you ask me. Like an acoustic kit Four has that size going for it, but I don't I know. Love, I think this I love works. Like the black. I don't know if it shows on camera, but if you get in the correct angle of light, you can see that these are actually like a tiny net. Mm. Um, I think it's cool to have like some some LEDs. Inside yeah. of these, you see, like you light them up, you know, yeah, like yeah. when you're supposed to play. Like <laughs> Nothing else that could like illuminate yeah. you in That's a cool a, way. Yeah. Let's get in there and fuck up the electronics. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So now we just Connecting. have to connect one million cables. Now these are numbered. One, two, three. These are, of course, uh, to connect For all the symbols and all the toms and everything to this drum module. What it is, what it like is, like tom yeah. number three. Okay, cool. So, uh, now I just have to, have to guess. If you learn that these colors <laughs> go on top okay. and these colors go in the bottom, then we are fine. Hello, is this on? Hello? So, 
As I said, these go, the, the, uh, this row go to, uh, goes to front of house, to the mixing table. The these row. go into the drum rack, and also we have to have something for our mixing system. So we take the main outputs left and right, and go all the way over here, and in here. Here, left and right. Bloop. Awesome. So, yeah, so this, this cabinet here is like a whole other story, so we yeah. will get back to that. There's a lot going on here, as yes. you might imagine. Okay, so that's, uh, that is our drum setup. Machine supremacy style. It's still new, but uh, we are cautiously optimistic that this will be freaking awesome. Yes. And uh, so far, doing pretty well. And now the gaffer tape. The gaffer! Now we are marking the placement of the drums. Not a night on the floor. As a musician, you spend a lot of time on the floor. Don't yes, ask. Yes. When you get tired of him, we have these, <laughs> specially molded. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> All Has to be taped. You think we can make an ASMR video for this? What's an ASMR? It's like when you just have these real world noises. In it. Ah. Why is it that as soon as we started whispering and doing this, it became twice as much fun? <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Mm. Nice. Pretty good. Uh oh, yeah. So another uh, of the the big reasons why we are trying this setup is because sometimes, especially on small venues, we have had complaints uh, that like the snare is too loud. We try to to uh, yeah, everything has to in. adjust around the drums because as yes. an acoustic instrument. You can't really make it softer. No. At, at least not if you want to play like a badass like no. you do. And one added benefit, there's uh, definitely an increased portability of this. Like maybe most people don't care about that. But if you are touring or just having shows at all, then that is going to matter to you. Uh. Oh, nearly done. Last <laughs> tape. This is this is the stuff you don't see. Like yes. they, they don't show you this stuff. No. Which is why we're showing you this stuff. They, they show Tommy Lee spinning in his cage, partying and all that stuff. Mm. They don't show him crawling around the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Doing that shit. <sighs> well, that was fun, kids. That was fun, kids. Uh, we learned something today. Yes. We learned that uh, electronic what? drums. It's hardcore. It's hardcore, yeah. Peace All right, out. peace out. It's basically, I guess it's around 10 in the evening. We're so far north, but we still have the sun. 